day friends. Today is a great day because I just got my Dakota Lithium Lithium batteries. These are going to be replacing my existing battery bank which is a lead acid which is really old probably like four or five years now and we're going to have an amazing solar setup once I get these in. Now the reason this is such a huge jump because actually the amp hours of my current battery bank is a little bit bigger but as many of you probably know the actual usable capacity of those batteries, this is at least twice as much. With lead acid batteries, you can't deeply discharge them or you're gonna ruin the batteries very quickly, which means I get a lot more power for the same size battery bank, but it's also way lighter at the same time. So these are a win, 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 with the only caveat being that they're not cheap. So it looks like each battery comes with a Dakota Lithium 10 amp charger. Obviously you've got your battery, this battery is actually upside down, which doesn't matter. So you can actually install them in any orientation, which is excellent. They could be done sideways, on its top, on its wherever, really. So right off the bat, this is just a great looking battery. Try doing that with a lead acid battery this size. It's not gonna happen. All right, so let's go ahead and open all these up. And we're gonna work our way over to where the batteries are. Get these bad boys installed. Also, one of the most amazing features is that these batteries come with an included 11 year warranty. So our first battery has started charging. I'm just gonna set these off to the side. So I currently have batteries all over the bus, all charging. We got two back here. Okay, so once the batteries were fully charged, it was time to install them. So the first thing I had to do was remove those old lead acid batteries. These things are so heavy. I'm using a strap that came on my new batteries. Oh my gosh. I don't know how people do this. Okay. Okay, we got another one. So we're on to the next step. So to get these batteries in, um, I've got to do a couple modifications, not much at all, but definitely have to take out these old battery braces. And then I'm also going to take this out because it's just barely in the way. I'm going to get this all cleaned up and we're going to get the batteries dropped in here. Oh my gosh. I'm using batteries that are venting batteries. They're not sealed. If you're going to go with lead acid, get the sealed because this is just nonsense that I would have even done this. Old batteries are out, time to put the new batteries in. Guys, like the difference between 30 pounds and 60 is just insane. All right, so the batteries are in place. Now we're ready to start wiring them up but since I'm gonna be pulling higher wattages, sometimes running the AC for small amounts of time, my gaming computer, I would not recommend doing 12 volts at 3000 watts because that's a lot of amps going continuously. So we're gonna cut the amps in half by doubling our voltage. I'm gonna be going 24 volt. So to do that, all I'm gonna do is have these go in series. So I'll have three 24 volt, 100 amp hour battery. I still have a positive and a negative. Now the next thing we'll do is go parallel, which means I would go negative, 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 positive, positive, positive. And then we'll do the closest positive right there and the furthest negative, which would be right here. This becomes one big battery. And especially with our BMSs already inside, it'll auto balance out the cells so they'll last longer. So we're gonna start by branching these again, creating those big batteries, and then we'll do our parallel. Yep, this will work nicely. So I'll just cut three of these and then I will just go all the way around. Then we will peel it off and there we go. Okay, now we'll twist, get it in there as deep as possible. Okay, this is the part you need to be really careful about because this is, uh, a lot of current will be going through here. So just make sure that you do this right or if you don't think you can, have somebody else do it. All right, once it's started, it's going nowhere. So there you go, that thing is nice and tight not going anywhere. So 
So now we're working with three 24 volt, 100 amp hour batteries. Now I'm gonna start putting them in parallel. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. We now have one big battery bank. Now we can move on and actually hook it up to the rest of our system. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're actually gonna be installing our Victron Lynx power in. This is gonna be where all of our fuses go. It's gonna be much nicer than the current system that I have now. Yeah, I had a bit of a mishap. I've like not been shaved in probably, I don't even know, uh, years at this point. I've always had like some kind of stubble and at the barber shop, they took off like way too much of my mustache, so I just wiped it off. Anyway, uh, yesterday was a pretty good day. Pretty, pretty good. I got a lot done, and I will show you. I actually kept working last night until very, very late. This took way longer than I thought it was going to, but I got a lot done. If we peek in here. So batteries are wired up. Temperature sensor right here for my battery monitor over there that shunt then we've got our inverter 24 volt 3000 uh, watt i also invested in this lynx power in uh, all it is is a glorified bus bar i do like the ability to have all of my fuses together it's just a lot more expensive and you can do cheaper things and then we have our solar charge controller that's a 70 amp so that can handle i think up to 1600 maybe 1500 or 1600 amps something like that so 150 volts or 70 amps. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I'm just gonna keep on installing and you guys can follow along. Okay guys, well she's not 100% done, but it's getting pretty close. I wanted to give you guys a quick little update on how it's going. So the first things that I'll do are clean up the rest of my wires. I'll staple all those in place. Really, it's just a lot of cleanup. I will also be putting a wall back there to conceal all those areas, and then I'll be putting my solar breakers back there, because I currently don't have any, which is not good. You should have solar breakers in there. So one last really cool feature that I thought I would show you guys is this uh, Victron, basically, actually what this is, is a Raspberry Pi. Essentially, it's a device that can communicate with all of my devices that I have, because they're all Victron. So you can see my Multi Plus, that's my charger inverter, my solar charge controller, battery monitor. Then when I go to Pages, it should show me everything. All energy, it'll show which direction it's moving as well, which is really cool. So this is a super cool touch right on the front here. Also, another huge reason was, I had a huge hole right here for my old battery monitor. So it was essentially like try to patch that hole up or just put this up. All right guys, well, that's it. Um, I do have more to do, but that's all I'm gonna do for right now. I've been working on it for like two days and I'm so excited to have those batteries in there. The next big project that I'll be doing with the solar is gonna be solar panels. Uh, so guys, definitely like the video. If you liked it, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. And definitely subscribe. We are getting really, really close to 10K subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, what do you think of the batteries? I'm really excited about them. I don't know much about solar, but I know that Devin knows all about it. And I'm really excited to get these installed so we can boondock like permanently and never have to pay for another parking spot again.